These fun little ornaments can be used as name tags. You can hang them on hangers at a wedding and so much more. Hello friends, Mayflom here today with a tutorial. I'm gonna show you two different ways to create this project. To get started, I'm using a wood ornament and an acrylic ornament. So these are actually Christmas ornament blanks, but they're useful year round for so many different things. And there's multiple ways we can approach getting the fonts. I'm going to show you several of those here. The first one is the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. So this is a tool you can download for free and utilize. It will make whatever word you have in whatever font you've selected into a Scan and Cut cut file. You can then save it and you can utilize it in Canvas Workspace online or you can put it onto a USB drive, put it right into your Scan and Cut, which is what I am going to do. So I've got all of these great files and I'm just going to start bringing them in. I'm also gonna show you how to edit them. So those three little boxes, and then go in here like so and select all of the different, in this case, numbers, then go to object edit, and you're going to make them merge together so that they're unified, all one. And then you can size and it'll size them all evenly so everything stays perfectly proportioned. This is a really great way to resize things when you have multiple things that you want to stay in proportion to each other. And you can move things all around and play with them here. Again, there is Canvas Workspace. If you prefer a bigger screen or to work on the computer, you could be doing this in Canvas Workspace and creating this. This is also a project that you can batch create. So you can create, for example, the word bridesmaid or the numbers, the year. You can put all of that into a template of sorts cut it all out and then customize with a name or with a different word depending on what you're doing. These are so much fun for weddings because you can have everybody's dress all hanging and their name tag is on it in the dressing room or maybe their coats or their street clothes for afterwards, whatever it might be. And they make a fun gift as well. Now we're going to go in and just continue. We can continue to pick different files as you can see and continue this process as needed. Another option even simpler to get fonts is to go into pattern. You have fonts built into your scan and cut. To utilize these you select a font type whatever word it is you want and uppercase or lowercase use as you can see there are many fonts. If you want lowercase then just switch to that and as you can see I'm just typing in my word bridesmaids because I decided I didn't quite like the font that I had picked out. You can size it here, but you can also size it over on our editing screen as well. So don't feel like you have to do it here. You can do this over on the editing screen as well. Even more options. Oh yes, we have even more options, of course, and always. Now in this project, I'm going to be moving the vinyl pieces over separately. So I'm not going to try to line them up perfectly here on the screen. I'm going to just cut them out and then line them up myself on the project. But first, I do know that I want a little gold heart on each of these and I go back and forth between two different sizes. So what I will do is get the first size here that I think I want. And you can see here, we can set numbers, we can set all kinds of things. But remember, we can also, and I'm just kind of checking this out. Yes, I like it, but I'm going to want it in a different material. So I'm moving it off to the side. I'm going to go on in and look at all the different things that I can add. But first, I am saving this screen. This is a thing we don't see very often, but I am saving my work right here because I now want to go and scan a word so I can show you how you could scan a word in. Okay, so by saving it, the machine has saved that screen where I was. This is really important, especially for projects like this where you would be batch creating, that will save it. Now what I'm doing here is creating another way we can get another font in is to scan it in. And then you're just going to want to pull those arrows down, select inside and out, preview and save the file. So again, just another method to doing it. You could save it to the USB or we can save it to the machine, whatever works for you. I just really in this video wanted to show you a couple of different ways here. And because this is the kind of a project you'd likely make in a batch, 
saving this work screen. I'm going to show you how to get it back. We're going to go to retrieve data right there on the machine. And we can see right there, there it is, all of the work. You just restore it. And now we can just continue working like we were before. This is a really great idea if you're batch creating and you might need more. Go ahead and save that work screen. You can always come back. You can always come back to it and just go straight to cut instead of having to redo things or remember the sizes of things or anything like that. That's a really great tip when you're batch creating for whatever reason, for a party, for a wedding, whatever you might be doing. So as you can see here, I'm resizing the word Sarah. That's the other name I've got here. And I'm not organizing everything just so here. I'm just going to go ahead and scan my material in so that I can see there's my black and there's my gold vinyl. We're going to be cutting this out of vinyl. It's a sticker vinyl. I can see where everything is. And then once I have an eye on everything, I can go ahead and come in here with my stylus and move things around if need be, if I'm not happy with the placement, if I want things more condensed or more spaced out, whatever it might be. This option of scanning our material lets us work with smaller pieces and it's just absolutely such a great thing to do. Now I'm going in and selecting half cut, which we always want for vinyl so that the material cuts, not the backing sheet. And once it is done, now it's assembly time. So we're going to weed or remove all the vinyl that we do not want to transfer one at a time here. This does not take that long. It's actually a pretty quick process, but it's definitely the most tedious part of the process is getting all the vinyl. You want to work slowly, use your brother pick tool or another pick tool. Then you're going to use transfer material to pick up that vinyl and transfer it. The thing that this does is allows you to transfer your entire piece. So here there's the word bridesmaid. You can see and you can keep using the same transfer material, transfer tape pick up the piece off the backing, set it on the project. It lets you see everything because it is clear. And it also just works so easily and so beautiful to move your vinyl perfectly. So as you can see here, we've done quite a bit of work quickly. This is a great, again, since you're probably working in a batch, it's good to cut it all out, then weed it all, then assemble. And you can leave these as is. You can add, if you wanted to add, beads on beading wire if you wanted to add ribbons or twine or whatever you want to use to top this is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to be backing my clear one with alcohol inks. I'm just using a combination of colors as well as blending solution. So you can see I'm just kind of making little dots to start with because I don't want to use too much. And then I'll add in the metallic color as well as the blender and I'll give it a little blend but then as it dries it will also kind of change and alter itself as well you can see here I'm just kind of it looks all blue but you'll be amazed as this as this sets and dries it changes and you can see there isn't that neat oh, I just love the results and the little bit of metallic shows through and that one is all ready to go, as well as the wood. Now the wood, if we wanted to add any kind of paint or color or anything else, we certainly could. Or we can leave things as they are, tie our ribbons, get things all set for our wedding or for our party, and off we go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is a really easy, fun project, and I hope I've given you some more ideas for how to utilize fonts with your Scan and Cut DX. Again, this tutorial will work with any model. Be sure you are following Brother for more tutorials, ideas, and fun.